Hello, welcome back to our TCAP commentary. Um, today we're doing Malik Washington. Now, um, this guy is known as the SpongeBob Predator, right? <laughs> um, you'll see why. I mean, it's very evident. But um, I've never seen this guy. I don't think I've actually ever seen his segment like at all. If you have other recommendations, put them in. Right, I'll do them eventually, right? But um, yeah, let's get right into this and you know, let's check out the video, right? Yeah, it looks like we have visual on. For three and a half days, men have been making the trip to our undercover house in cars, trucks, even a stolen van. A stolen off. van. Off, it looks like. This man takes a train into town and then starts walking, walking. and keeps walking. walking. Maybe someone wants to do a drive-by and just see where Drive-by, that sounds the so fucking The man in the bad. SpongeBob jacket walks about two and a half... Wow. <laughs> I think that's Frag, right? The the guy behind, like, you know, the, the, the TVs and, and the monitors, right? To go, go do a drive-by to see if, you know, see what's going on, right, is what he said. A half miles right past our street in the SpongeBob jacket SpongeBob. walks about two and a half miles right past our street and gets lost. After walking several he blocks out of his way, he finally heads in the right direction, and here's our decoy calling him. Hey! Come on in! <laughs> There's nowhere to go into, right? I know he does get lost. Uh, you know, I, I'm not like completely like unaware of like what exactly happens, but I do know he does get lost, um, as many predators do. You know, in this show, right? I mean, there wasn't there was no such thing as like GPS locations, right? You know, they had flip phones and all that, right? I think <laughs> there was no such thing as a smartphone, right? I think I'm not sure. I'm I, I don't know, but anyway, like you know, he's lost. It doesn't matter, right? But yeah. He's 27 year old Malik Washington. 27. Thinks our decoy is the past expiration day. I'm gonna be honest. With online. How was your walk? Yeah, kind of long. Using the screen name Loverboy 212X, <laughs> he chats online to the decoy about anal and oral sex. Oh. He also tells her he'll bring a pornographic video. Prawn. <laughs> what the hell? What happened, bro? Prawn. That's funny though. Let's see this again, right? But uh, that's that's how I'm gonna say. You know, he prawn. also tells her he'll bring a pornographic video. The decoy tells him yeah. she's a virgin, and he God. says, "I could be your first. So awesome. I'm kind of nervous. Now that he's comfortably seated, comfortable, the man. decoy tries to. Shout out to Casey, you know. She's been doing well, you know. I I follow her on Instagram. Right? Um, you know, you see her doing all these things, right? I don't even know what. To be honest, like I'm just gonna be straight up with you, right? I don't know, if Casey, you're watching, like. Don't take anything I mean, like, seriously, like, say seriously, but I don't even know what the fuck she's doing anymore, right? Like, she's actually doing, like, random, you know, blanks. Every, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. She's doing random shit. I, like, I'm, I'm, I see her Instagram posts and stuff, and I just don't know what she's doing anymore, right? Like, last time I saw her, she was, like, at this, like, concert. Then she was, like, doing yoga. Then she was, like, at an ocean. Like, it, like uh, to be fair, like, live your best life, but I was, like, so weirded out. I, I don't know. Corey like, tells him she's a virgin, and he says, virgin. I could be your first. Crazy. So I'm kind of nervous. Now that he's comfortably seated, okay, the fine. decoy tries to find out like, what he has in mind. Did you bring the porn for the laptop? Or? It is porn. You... you brought it? Okay. All right, what well, the then, hell? can you, like, explain to me, like, what you think we're going to do? First, I was going to get to know you. I wasn't in a rush to have sex yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I, I don't... I don't Damn, yo. Yo, that is forward as fuck, you know. I need to stop cursing. I shouldn't curse, right? I shouldn't do that. Um, that's forward as heck. <laughs> now, let's mention the elephant in the room, right? <laughs> what we're all here for, right? This infamous-ass jacket, right? I think it looks cool, okay? I wouldn't wear it, but, like, it looks... Imagine putting, like, putting it on a wall, right? Imagine, like, you know, you go into your house or, like, your apartment and, like... You have guests over, and they're like, you know, what's that on the wall? And you're like, oh, it's my very cool SpongeBob jacket, right? Like, that's cool as hell, you know? That's very cool. I think we're going to do... Imagine if they also had, like, a Patrick one. You know what I mean? Like, yo, I love SpongeBob, yo. That's one of my favorite shows, you know? I did, okay. Favorite All right, well, cartoons. Then, can you, like, explain to me, like, what you think we're going to do? First, I was going to get to know you. I wasn't in a rush to have sex yet. <laughs> Crazy, yo. Well, the shoe in a rush. I just want to know beforehand, you know? Ask the question, it'll be easy. What? Ask the question. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. There's so many things you could ask, you know, amidst that, you know. Like, uh, I'm not gonna... I'm just too grossed out to, to kind of give you an example. But let's also mention, like, let's not leave Casey out of this, right? 
what is she wearing too? Let's be honest. Like, I don't think I've ever actually mentioned like her fit in this beach, you know, sitting location thing, right? She's wearing a damn like snow coat thing, right? And what she? What, I mean, you can keep the hat, right? But like, why is the jacket so puffy? You know what I mean? Like, um, you know. Uh, <laughs> I'll let you in a rush. I just want to know beforehand, you know. Ask a question. It'll be easy. Um, What's it called? What should we do first? Yeah. Well, if you say uh, stop, yo, stop. I'm so scared to know what he's gonna say next. I'm like, what should we do first, bro? Was thank you, bro. I don't like. You want to take breaks and during the base, you want to give me. A I should teach you that first. Okay. Give me head if, is if what you he want. Said. It's up to you. Not a chance. Oh, I could like. Chris is so cold, man. Uh, forgive my scream. I don't know what that was. Anyway, um, I don't know what got into me, right? Chris Hansen, he said, not done yet, right? Uh, so Listen to Well, if you say you want to take breaks, and during the base, you want to give me a I should give teach me you that head. first. Okay. If, if you want, it's That's up disgusting. to you. Not a chance. Not a chance. Not a Listen to how quickly <laughs> Loverboy changes you his story like when I'm the one sitting across from him. Do I even have to? Look at this. Look at this. I'm convinced. Oh, wait, no, he's here. <laughs> I was convinced Run Night is magic, right? You know, if you've seen my last episode, right, you'll you know that we found out that, you know, Ron Knight deals in the, you know, the dark arts of magic, you know what I mean? He's, he's, he's magic, right? That's just it. He, he's able to teleport and like, you know, instant transmission, right? Like, it don't take him anything to, to disappear, right? How quickly but, you know, I was going to say, like, changes his story. do I even have to mention, right? Like, look at this, look at this, really? Really? You got Ron Knight in the very back. Like, if I was Ron Knight, I would already been there. I'm just saying, right? I'm just saying. You know, if I had those powers like he does, right, I would al already, you know, been there. Or just saying. I'm like, the saying. one sitting across from him. Like, look, look. Look at this. He's like two pic He's like three pixels here. And one down here. Like, you don't think Ron Knight could get jumped right now? I'm pretty sure Casey could probably instantly kill him like this, you know what I mean? I already told you, you know. Any prayer that gets too close without Ron Knight being there, right? Chris is dead, right? You know, we had, uh, what's his name? I don't, I don't even know his name. How you doing? Whatever. That preacher guy. The only time, you know, that's actually the reason why I hate him, right? <laughs> like, I don't know if I told that. That video also got took it down, so I'm sorry. You can't find that no more, and I'm not going to do another one. Because I think, you know, doing those videos, like, online, on YouTube, there's, like, those videos don't exist. Like, like commentators don't have videos of him. I don't know. Hello. You all right? A little bit yeah, sketchy. What's going on? Never mind. There I'm he good. is. You're good. Uh huh. What were you planning on doing uh, this evening? This evening. Oh, nothing much. Just hang out. <laughs> that is so crazy, yo. That is insane, right? After you're like, you can give me head if you like. Like, what the hell? Hey, I'm 17. Oh, um, nothing you're much. You're 17. Just hang out. You, you could pass. Hey, I'm 17. What year were you born? Bro, I swear to God, yo, like, the, like, I'm gonna be, that's really good, I'm gonna be honest, yo, Chris really got him on that, like, you ask what year you're born, right, that should be easy, right, I was born in 2002, right, you know, I'm 21 years old, right, you know, I have four more years of life before I kick the bucket, right, you know, people aren't supposed to live past 25, you know, everyone knows this, but, anyway, enough about me, right, um, he's, he's gonna ask, you know, what year he was born, he's gonna know it, right, he's not gonna know it. Unless he does, which is pretty impressive, right? Because I would have stumbled. Me, I'm 17. I'm what 17. year were you born? Um, 85, I think. 85, I think. 85, I think. He, get, he, he thinks, right? He doesn't know. Born in 1980. That makes him 27. I don't know. Oh, okay. To be fair, that, that, that's not bad, actually. Never mind. Like, I was going to give him props, but all he has to do was just, you know, take off 10 years, right? <laughs> like, uh, I ain't tripping, right? That makes him 27. I don't know. Oh, okay. I already know a lot of stuff, actually. Because I didn't want to get in trouble, that's why. You didn't want to get her in trouble. Right. What about <laughs> getting you in trouble? Oh, that too. That too. That's crazy, ain't it? Like, yo, he really just said, he like, he lied so she wouldn't get in trouble, right? Like, that's crazy, you know? That's so crazy. Tell me something, you know? Oh, well, I lied because I want her to get in trouble. Dog, you're breaking the law, right? You're currently breaking the law, right? Um... What, would that what about said, anyway? getting you in trouble? That too. Oh, that too. <laughs> that too. Is he crying? You knew this girl was how old? I think 12 or 13. 12. Ooh. Oh. Why did you think it was Ooh. okay to visit a 12-year-old girl? Like oh. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I thought, look, 
all of the ages are bad when they pull them up in this show, right? But I thought she was 13, right? 12 is different because I don't know how to describe it. You know what I mean, though. Like, I don't have to explain and, like, make myself look kind of stupid, right? <laughs> like, you understand, right? Like, from 13 to 12, it's just the lower it gets, the worse it is. And the tw- 12 is the worst. I don't know if they used 11, like, in the show. Maybe they did, but no one ever bit, right? That sounds very bad. But, you know, no one ever came to for a... Uh, that also sounds very bad. No one showed up to meet a 11-year-old here, right? I don't think so. Tell me if, if they did, and we'll have to watch who that is, because I do not know who, who did that, right? But 12 is different, right? I believe also the law carries a heavier sentence and, like, you know, punishment for below the age of 12 or, like, 13 or something. You know, I think it's worse when it, they're, like, younger. Of course it is, but you know what I mean. Like, for the law, it is. But, like, tw- why is it not prison? Come on. First of all, 12. Why did you think it was okay to visit a 12-year-old girl at your age? Uh, first of all, I like to travel, and then <laughs> I like to travel. Plus, she wants to hang out, so I don't mind. I wasn't planning on doing anything with her. You say things online. Like, That's insane. I'm going to give you email. Stop! 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 Yo, stop! Why is everyone saying this shit? Right? That's very ballsy to be like, you know, I was just gonna hang out, right? I would like, you know, she, she, I was gonna do anything, right? After legit, they just talked about, you know all this you know what do you want to do first type of thing right like ugh. i also feel like there's something calling yeah, on my travel. leg right now i like to try to she wants to hang out so i don't mind i wasn't planning on doing anything with her you say things online Crazy. Like, and i'm going to give you anal anal because you got a nice ass ass it's your words right you ask her oh he's worried to pop that chair <laughs> oh my god yo, chris what the hell's wrong with you man oh yeah like I'm 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 having like a double like, you know I'm getting double punched right now right, I'm hearing Chris Hansen talk some nasty words right I'm also having this predator right Malik, you know being here to meet a twelve year old girl which I didn't know was twelve but, you know like yo he looks so worried right now right he like I don't think he he depended on Chris having the uh, the chat log right because that that's like the nail in the coffin let's be honest like as much as you know some people say like they don't care. For people, there, I mean, there are some people who just don't care to show their messages and stuff, right? That you can see them if you want. But, you know, some messages messages are just private, right? You don't really expect them to be, like, you know, aired out like this, right? Travel, and then... She like wants to, to travel. travel. I like to travel, plus she wants to hang out, so I don't mind. I wasn't planning on doing anything with her. You say things online like, and I'm going to give you anal. Anal? Because you got a nice ass. Ass. Those are your words, right? I feel like I'm getting bit by you something. You ask her, when are you ready for me to pop that chair in? Oh, my God. I assume that means taking her virginity. Mm-hmm. All right. Is that true? Well, I'm convinced the spiders are my ass, You me question. Who are you? I am Batman. Oh, man. I would be so inclined to say that, right? Even though it would sound pretty stupid, right? But, you know, whatever. Anal. Anal. Because you got a nice ass. Ass. Sorry, I thought. Those are your words, right? Yeah, he looked worried. Her, when are you ready for me to pop that chair in? I assume that means taking her virginity. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. Is that true? That's yeah, true. All right, so you asked me all these questions. Who are you? I'll get to that in a minute. Let's be honest. Chris looks like police, right? Are you right? going to arrest me? Like, uh, are you going to arrest me? Shut up. Chris does look like police, right? <laughs> like, like you know, a, a people who have watched the show, right, and maybe have watched my commentaries, right, know that Chris Hansen is mistook as police often, right? Um, Chris Hansen looks like police. He tries to act like police. Let's be honest. Chris is a poser, you know, in every sense of the word, right? He's always like, you think I'm law enforcement, right? Like, he likes being told that. I mean, to be honest, I would too. Let's be honest. Like, imagine if you're feared like that. I mean, the, I feel like the most fear, fearful thing that could be in these guys' minds right now, right, it would be police, right? And Chris Hansen embodies that, right? He, he got caught, and the only one that would sensibly do something like this, right, set up someone would be the police right but no you're on to catch a predator right watched by millions and billions of people all over the world right so you asked me all these questions who are you billions. i'll get to that in a minute oh, banger line man because... really, tell you the truth, i was not going to do anything with her like you sat out here for a good 10 minutes and you had the opportunity to tell her face to face that you really didn't want to do anything and that's not what you said is it Billy? yes i did i no, said you didn't you no. said we can start that's first uh, by talking before we have sex. No, and you told I, her that you brought the porn. Cause like, which is crazy. Like, what did he bring? Right? I understand. Like, who was the other one? 
just got reminded. It's um, what's his name? Uh, damn, 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 damn. What's his name? Um, the, the Chris's friend predator. I don't remember his name. Uh, oh, he acts like he's blind and he's in the handsome versus predator one, and he talks with the fifty-year-old decoy, right? And he brings the bareback boys <laughs> disc, right? That's like the only one I remember that brought something like that. But I know for a fact, like. That wasn't the only person who did that, right? I mean, we have Malik right now, right? But I know there was some other people that I'm forgetting. But that's the guy that, like, is ingrained in my head. I don't know. But anyway, like, I wonder, uh, did he bring a disc? Oh, he was a speed driver. No, you told I, her that you brought the poor. Because, like, I'm not, I ain't came out here to rape or kill or anything. What I'm not the a bad fuck? person. Well, you know what? But having sex Yo, that's crazy. I mean, to be fair, I can see. Like, it's like trying to minimize what you're doing right but it's all a, a bad anyway right you weren't gonna do any of that right like you know do that or or, or or kill her right like yeah true perhaps right we have had some guys that legit look like they would have done something like that right but it doesn't matter right like it, it like an, a wrong or wrong doesn't make you wrong any less wrong <laughs> That sounds stupid, but you get me I'm right, not, I ain't came out here to rape or kill or anything. I'm not a bad person. A well, bad you know what? But having sex with a 12-year-old, even if she says yes, is considered rape because... Oh, yeah. by the law, cannot... I forgot of that. I forgot about that? that. Oh, I didn't know that. You didn't know that. Oh, he didn't you know that. TV? I forgot that's a thing, right? I forgot about the whole statutory rape thing, right? But, uh, that, it's it's different, right? It's, it's, it's a little different, right? It's less confrontational and very like forceful and shit, right? I'm not gonna get into it, right? I, I just don't feel comfortable doing that. But you know, I guess I, he's, he's right. He's considered rape because a 12 year old by the law yeah, cannot, get cannot consent. consent to having sex. Do you get that? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. You so didn't it's unconsent, unconsensual. TV? So, sometimes barely. Do you ever hear about that show, To Catch a Predator? Wait, wait. Well, I, I wasn't trying to be a predator, but that's yeah. not what your transcript uh, would support. I'm Chris Hansen. Right. With Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults. Oh, oh, oh buddy! If there's anything else you'd like to tell us? Do they bring out the cameras here? Cause like, yo, I feel like that would be such a hassle to yank a, a cord. I mean, they do that in the, the houses, but to yank a cord in like the the sand and get all sandy and all that. Like, I feel like eh, I don't know. We'd like to hear it. Well, one thing. Um, can I go home? Can I go right home? Oh well, there he is, right there. Sorry. Nothing else you want to tell us? Apparently, Lover Boy starts thinking Lover about the long way. walk back to the train station. I mean, we leave the beach. Can you give me a ride home? Because I don't want to I had to walk back. What the hell is happening, right? I don't think. Yo, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of ballsy, though. I respect it. He's like, Can you give me a ride home? Dog, you just got caught. <laughs> like, what the hell? Right? This is insane, but, you know. It's ballsy, I guess. But he's like, I gotta walk back. Yeah, no shit. I don't know how you planned on getting back anyway, right? Like, let's say you did go, you know, through all the effort of, like, you know, doing, you know, with this girl, right? You're gonna have to walk your ass back anyway. Like, you know, it's not like you're gonna instantly, trans like, teleport back. Like, come on, man. Come it's on. It's up to you. But I, I, I'm not in a position to give you a ride, though. He's not. Of course. Hey, this ain't where you can give me a cab? A cab. Hey, guys, that. call a cab for this. The good car. news is he won't have to make that long walk back to the train station. Yeah, we know. Get down! Get down! Get down! Get down! Get down! Get down. Get down. Get down. The bad news down. is he'll be getting a ride in a police car. I'm so bold, yeah. Stop resisting. Don't resist. Don't resist. What is that? Oh, well, the Steve Wilco show. Yeah, I love Steve Wilco's. Okay, not, I don't love him that much. Okay, relax, Steve. Steve, right? Relax, man. Do not do this, right? You cannot do yeah, this. Anyway, uh, let's get into this, right? Um, I don't know how long this video is, right? But, you know, actually, let me check. I might just throw in his, his TCAP wiki just for the hell of it, right? Because I actually don't know how long this video is. Because it feels like it's only been like 12 minutes, right? So I'll be back. It's been a little bit, but uh, uh, let's just read his TCAP wiki anyway. Whatever. TCAP wiki. M Malink. Washington. Press. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, he doesn't have a very long thing, so let's just do it. <clears throat> so we have Malik Washington, right? Well, if you say you want to take breaks during... Wait. 
if you say you want to take breaks and during the breaks you want to give me blank, I should teach you that first. Malik detailing his sexual plans with the decoy. Okay, so we have Malik Washington right here. He is uh, Malik talking to the decoy. His alias is his lover boy 212X. Um, his affiliation and occupation is former manager at a GameStop. A rapper. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know that. But uh, he was born. He was born 1980. Um, physical description is male and his hair color is black. Right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Malik Kareem Washington was a potential predator confronted in the Ocean County, New Jersey edition of To Catch a Predator. He's well known for wearing SpongeBob, a uh, SpongeBob SquarePants jacket, to the bust at the age of 27, as well as asking Chris Hansen if he could call him a ride home after traveling so long for nothing. <laughs> He's on some like Cody Green shit, right? Anyway, the biography. Malik, 27 at the time, began chatting with Paris. Yo, that's a badass name, yo. Uh, a girl that he believed to be 12. He wanted to take her virginity, give her anal blank. Uh, because she had a, as well as exactly in her, uh, what am I saying? Expecting her to swallow. Uh, he would also clarify that anal blank meant my, uh, blank up your blank. <laughs> I'm back on my, you know, uh, you know, deep dive shit, right? But anyway, after just one day of chatting, Malik would confess he was falling in love with the decoy and called, called her his princess, like someone else, you know. Um, I assume that's like, you know, another predator. But anyway, he also said he would come with blank and blank, right? Pointing condoms, right? Malik on the day of his arrest with a lap... Malik on the day of his arrest with a laptop that had porn in it, he would jump on a train and then walk two miles to the beach where he met the decoy. Unlike many of the predators, he repeated he repeated his disturbing plans with the girl face to face. But when Chris Hansen came out walking up the dune, those plans were shot. Malik would also make the excuse that the only reason he came was that he likes to travel and he wasn't going to do anything, despite seconds earlier expressing to Casey a desire for marathon sex, which, what? He immediately gets caught in a lie when asked his age and answers 17, but couldn't do the math, subtract 17 from 2007. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> when this thing happened, right? 2007. Which is, yeah, that's, that was such an easy subtraction, right? What the hell? Or or to add 10 to 1980 when his alleged age is an easy 10-year difference. Like Vi Vicon Sandaran Hunt? Whatever, I don't know his name. He tries to feign ignorance about not knowing that sex with the minor is rape. After being told he was part of a daylight investigation, he has the audacity to ask Hansen to give him a ride home. He is refused but was arrested soon after. He would take a plea deal for no jail time, but be under a lifetime parole and sex offender status, right? So he got a lifetime, you know, of uh, RSO. Um, it seems to be uh, a lifetime parole, which is that even is that even possible? It doesn't matter anyway. Like behind the scenes, post period activities, very little of anything is available about Washington post dateline. He is a resident of the state of New York, and their sex offender registry only shows a medium to high risk sex offenders. Since his profile is not on their site, it can be assumed that he was a qualified he was qualified as a low risk offender. TK YouTuber the mo the most worst did an investigation to Malik's activities post dateline. With help from Joey <coughs> with help from Joey, <laughs> he was able to find out Malik is now a rapper, but goes under the stage name Leaky Washington. That sounds so bad, you know. It sounds like such a bad rapper name. But um, even rapping about his exposure on Dateline at one point about um, how he's one of those uh, gentlemen <laughs> whose dreams got shattered. Well, which by who? You went to the house. What are you talking about, right? That's crazy. Two recent photographs of Malik, aka Leaky Washington. Nice. <laughs> who's that? I don't know. I'm not gonna go off off the rails, you know. Uh, okay, so we have some notes from some people here, right? Certainly one of the dumbest predators, even with the bar already pretty low, which is correct. Quite disappointing that Hansen didn't dramatically walk out of the ocean to confront Malik. He wasn't in a rush to have a conversation yet, right? Anyway, yeah, that's that's the TF wiki, right? We're not, we're not going to leave that out, right? There's really nothing extra to do, right? But anyway, that'll wrap, wrap up this video, right? But um, I'm also going to have a little bit of a, you know, announcement for this Sunday's video, right? We're actually going to do something a little bit different, right? Nothing off like T-Cap or anything, right? I'm not going to do some crazy, you know, shit. But 
we are going to watch you know i'm just gonna tell you because I, i'm like i'm really tempted right i was very tempted to do it right so i'll do it right oh, why is <laughs> why is it like re restart holy crap okay so yeah here it is so we're gonna watch the john dupay police interrogation this sunday right it's very it's pretty long right it's 34 minutes long and for me um to sit through a five minute video and i'm already sweaty it's gonna take a couple of breaks right and uh I think it can't be, you know, that intense, right? It's going to be more, it's going to be kind of like a watch party, right? But not like live. I could, you know, honestly live stream this, but I'd prefer not to, right? You know, because I would actually have to take some breaks in between. But, um, yeah, we'll see, right? We'll see. Because, honestly, like, I know people have been, I'm sorry, but, like, you know, you can leave now if you don't want to, if you don't want to hear this. But, um, you know, I know I've been told to do James Ranch, Ranch or whatever his name is, right? But he has a very long segment. He has, he's a two hour and seven minute long segment of his interrogation, right? He never got caught on to catch a prayer, like, you know, interview by Chris Hansen. But his interview apparently is extremely good. You know, people have told me about it so much. So I plan on actually live streaming this one. Um, the schedule for, for like my household is going to change. So I could actually do that. But like, that's a very long video. So yeah, that's going to be definitely a dedication to something, right? Like maybe like when we reach 2.5K, maybe. I'll do that. I could have done it at 2K, but I just, I don't know. I didn't, I wasn't ready to live stream anything, but we also have Jeff Sokol's police segregation, which I also want to see because, you know, there's also this one too. Look, look, jo Joshua Colon also has his interrogation. So I kind of want to look at these, you know, I'm, I really want to check these out, but you know, we'll see if I do live stream one of them. I know this one I'm not going to do because I think this is the shortest one. Yeah. 34 minutes. So I'm going to record this one for Sunday and uh, we'll see. Right. It's going to be a police interrogation. Right. Look. But anyway, yeah, that's going to call it for today, right? I'm sorry for holding you here for more than, you know, you should be here, right, I guess. But anyway, yeah, we'll call it and uh, have a good day, right? Check out the channel, like the video if you did, if you liked it, right? Subscribe, whatever. And uh, have a good, nice day. Bye.